Hey everybody, it's the New Hampshire Hobby Logger, and it's uh, the first or second day of March uh, 2022, and we have the retort going again. This is load number four that's going into it, uh, it's working right now. Uh, we used a little bigger uh, wheel underneath there to see if we get this started earlier, and I'm not sure that's going to be the, the answer to it drier wood would make a bigger difference but anyhow uh you guys have seen this thing roaring in the past it i think it's about ready to take off maybe in another hour or so we started it had it filled up and started it at 11 o'clock this morning and it's about uh what do we got quarter two right now so it's uh it's getting pretty close i've seen the steam coming off the the top there and everything so i know she's loading up i just filled it with uh, through that little port I take that pipe out right at the bottom and, and stuff wood in there and just gobbling it right up so anyhow I'm going to show you I've got another one started uh, another another retort so I'm going to show you oh, how I did it what I got into it and uh, I think the first thing I did is I started out with a four inch pipe and this is conduit this is uh, electrical conduit and uh, uh, the other one, I'm starting to run shy, so this one's a little bit short. But uh, that one there was uh, four feet right at from end to end. Then I added that little extension on the top. This one is uh, just about yeah, 38. So what I did is I cut out a, a ring. It sits on like that Oop, come here so it sits in on like like a yay and I just tacked it on in a bunch of spots there it doesn't have to be fully well because otherwise it's going to warp and then I come up about an inch um, I think I got one inch overhang there yeah and then I come up about an inch and a quarter to uh, and the first row of holes are probably yeah, eight eight of them in that all the way around then I came up another inch and a quarter, so we're two and three quarters now on the second run, all the way around, just like that. So what that ends up doing, when this thing starts cooking, you got your barrel here with our flames under it, and this comes down one inch into this side and there's our lid the wood gas has to come down and go into these holes when this is super heated we got a big fire going under here and when that uh, wood inside of the barrel starts getting to the point it's going to ignite and it's very pretty limited in oxygen so it drives the wood gas out goes in those little holes and then right up the stack and it burns itself on the way out as it's doing of course it's making more heat so it becomes kind of self-sustaining so anyhow I've got some metal roof in here and I cut these panels at 30 and a half inches so though each one of them is going to take three of them and three of them is a little bit more so I got two three it's more than what it needs but you end up wrapping it, it's kind of a bugger to get it wrapped around that insulation. So that's that mineral wool insulation stuff there, and I've got uh, a bunch of baling twine holding that on there. It's pretty delicate stuff. So I'll, in the bottom of that barrel, I can't get over there right now, there's a four inch hole in the base of it, and this pipe and flange is gonna sit right down on top of that. Now you, when you're filling it with wood, you gotta keep it uh, pretty plumb. Otherwise, you're not going to get the lid on. So when we get about half full of wood, we, we put the lid back on and uh, make sure that it's going to engage with the, the two lips there so that we can get the ring on. So once we get it established that it's going to fit, then we fill that right up to the tip top uh, with wood. And we, oh, well, I, I want to say we, we pack it fairly tight. It could be a little tighter probably, but... Uh, I think you want a little little something in there to be able to move around. Okay, so once you do that, then we start, I screw all these panels together, overlap them a little bit, and then, uh, like I say, we've got leftover, but I lay that on the, lay the barrel on the side 
on these three panels that are screwed together and then um, one ratchet strap in the middle to hold her all together and then I add ratchet straps on each end so I've got three straps tightening that band of, of uh, roofing all the way around it and then once I get it pretty well uh, crushed down to about two inches um, then I start uh, putting screws in there to, to hold it together. So this is uh, what, number four and you can see it's starting to get a little loose on here now. So that's what's gonna we're gonna have to either tighten it up or replace that mineral wool. That's supposed to be good for 2,000 degrees so you can see that after uh, a, a couple of outings of this stuff it tends to start deteriorating and it starts breaking down and uh, no doubt because it's some kind of hot. So that's about where we are um, and I'll just uh, continue on today and get this thing wrapped up and I'll have two of them going. So it's it really making some nice charcoal so um, we're pretty pleased with the thing there. We only need one barrel to do it and that's the that's the great part of it. So we don't have to come up with a whole bunch of different barrels and all that kind of stuff there and dig holes in the, in the ground try to do that and it's uh yeah, it ends up being 24 hours. You gotta let that cool down. I let it cool down right overnight, so uh, it's ready to ready to pick apart and bag it in the yeah, the next day. So, anyhow, but it was it's been nice and cold here for the last couple of days. But today's gorgeous. So uh, we got about one more good day, and then it's going to get cold again, and then a big warm up, and that's when we're going to start the greenhouse. It is probably this coming weekend. So we're going to start getting our plants in there and right now it's 90 degrees in there I just checked it a minute ago so she's starting to push a little starting to push the steam out of the ring there so this thing's getting ready to to light off and uh, my estimate was that by uh, three o'clock that would give it four hours cooking in there it would be uh, in full full uh, mode uh, beast mode so that's where the paralysis is uh, pyrolysis takes over and really just pulls the wood gas right out of there and burns it off and you're left with nice pieces of carbon so okay folks have a good one back to work bye bye